Hey what's up everyone it's Xcarlife here and in this video I would like to show you a steady gold farm for farming Whiptail, Volatile Life and also Elementium or in Uldum. In order to start this farm there are a few requirements to get the best results when you are doing this farm. Now before you get started I would recommend that you bring yourselves a druid with cataclysm herbalism and also mining and if you want you can also bring yourselves a potion of dark moon fire water to increase your gathering speed. Now as I mentioned in the beginning of this video this is a very neat and also stable gold farm that you can do in order to make some gold in a very short amount of time. However I'm going to do this farm in preparation of the new expansion since those herbs ores and also volatiles that you can get from this farm can also be used to craft the relics of the past so that is pretty much the main reason why I'm going to do this farm. So basically the web tail that you can get from this farm can be used to craft the potions of treasure finding which are always in high demand onto the auction house for people that like farming. However it will also be used to craft the flasks such as the flask of the winds or the flask of titanic strength and those flasks can also be used to make the vial of the sands which means that the whip tail that you are getting from this farm will always be in high demand onto the auction house. While you're doing this farm you will also receive some elementium ore which is also used to craft the relics of the past and the relics itself can be used to upgrade your gear in the new Shadowlands expansion which means that also the elementium ore will sell very well onto the auction house. And as last you will also get the volatile life from farming the web deal. Now volatile life itself can be used to craft several items such as the flasks that I pre previously mentioned into the video but it can also be used to craft the transmog items or the tome of illusions. So with that being said let's get uh, started with the farming route itself. Now the farming route itself is located in the old Uldum. Now in order to get to the old Uldum itself you can take the port in your city or just fly over here and once you have arrived in Uldum you basically have to talk to this NPC called Zidormi and you have to ask Zidormi to show you how Uldum looked like during the time of Cataclysm and that will basically switch over to the old Uldum. The farming route for this is quite easy to follow as well. You basically start at the top of the map and as you can see I also make a loop at the top of the map and the reason behind that is basically so I can farm the elementium ore as well. If you want to download my farming route you can also consider joining my discord server since I have listed all of my farming routes on my discord. So basically once you are all set you can start your farm and get every piece of whiptail and elementium ore that you can find to get the best results and one lap will basically take you around eight minutes so that is not very long. On top of this I will also show you the add-ons that I'm currently using that will help you out with gathering. So the green circle that you can see in the middle of my screen is called farm hut. I'm pretty much using this add-on every single time that I'm going out for farming since this will show you the gathering nodes in the middle of your screen so you don't have to look at your map all the time when you're searching for herbs. And the other add-on I'm also using to draw the farming routes on my map is called Routes. Now I will also leave a link to a guide where I will explain how to use Routes itself into the video description down below. But anyways guys that's it for this video. Like it if you liked it or dislike if you didn't. Subscribe for more and I'll catch you guys in the next one.